typical day for me uh, today, and uh, we're going to start in my bedroom when, when I woke up in the morning. And you'll notice, because my phone knows that in the morning uh, I like to meditate, that it's offered me a meditation app right here in the bottom left of the screen. So I can just swipe up from the bottom left, and I'm taken right in to meditate. Ah, uh, this is so serene. Oh, uh, well, it looks like I got an email, a, a, a message here from Phil. Um, so Phil says that he's putting together the invite for tonight's big karaoke potluck, and can I still pick up this super awesome karaoke machine? Well, you know, Siri actually, when I take reminders, is able to link me right back to what I'm looking for. So if I want to remember to pick this up, I can just say this to Siri. Remind me about this later today. And so Siri will put together a reminder, okay, and you see the you. link right back to what I'm looking for. Well, I think after all, meditation isn't probably for me, so maybe I'll move on to exercise. So I'll head into the uh, home gym here, and because my phone knows that when I'm in the home gym and I hook up headphones that I like to listen to music, watch what happens when I plug in the cord, my headphones. Jumps right in and offers me some energetic music. So let's all uh, bust a move. Bust. I don't know what kind of exercise we're all doing here, but uh, pretty good. Oh, looks like actually I've got that invitation that Phil was going to send me. So now normally I'd have to actually go into mail, look at the time, put this on my calendar. But in fact, my phone has automatically done that for me. Let me just swipe down here into Notification Center, and we'll look at my calendar for the day. And you notice that automatically it's already been added right there. Now, if we look at the rest of my day, up ahead, I have uh, my vocal warm-ups, of course, for the karaoke performance, and then, uh, and then WWDC. So, it uh, looks like I have a little bit of time to prepare my uh, dish for the big potluck. So, I'm going to head into the kitchen now, and let's just swipe in. Now, when I'm looking for recipes, for instance, I like to go into search. So, let's just swipe over into search, and we see that Siri actually is already, before I've typed a character, made suggestions for me for people I could contact, for instance, like Trent Reznor, my uh, vocal coach. So I can just <laughs> tap, and here I can call Trent up, and he can help me tap into my inner pain and rage that allows me to fuel my vocal performances. <laughs> I actually haven't been able to find the pain and rage, to tell the truth be told. But uh, also, we have all these great apps I can run, and locations uh, nearby, for instance, because it's morning, you see coffee and tea and breakfast places are suggested, as well as news. But in this case, I actually want to do a search. So I have some potatoes I think I could make use of in this recipe. So let's just search for potato. And here you notice I'm getting search results right from Yumly. So let me tap into Yumly, and you see I'm deep linked directly in, so I get the great view provided by that application. Now, potato chips aren't exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to hit the back link here. And I can just browse directly in to another result, Canadian poutine. Now, that looks like exactly what the doctor ordered. Yes. So let's take a look at the ingredients. Looks like six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm down with that. So I'm going to make a, um, at least a double batch. So I can just use search to actually search for, uh, to do a conversion of tablespoons, figure out how much that is. So that actually is three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to round up to an even quart and uh, make myself <laughs> some fine poutine. So. Search is really handy, but Siri is also great at search. So I want to jump forward to later today, when I think I'll be reminiscing about WWDC's past. And I can ask Siri to help me with that. Show my photos from last June in San Francisco. Oh yeah, this is great. All these photos from WWDC. And you notice now, Photos in iOS 9 has this great scrubber bar down at the bottom. So I can easily slide through photos super quickly, just like this. And let's see, oh boy, now we're into the karaoke night. Oh, this is, some, this is some fine stuff. Phil really does an awesome Viking crooner. This is good stuff. But of course, the king of karaoke, Eddie Q. In fact, when I want to get really pumped up and inspired for karaoke night, I like to turn to my Eddie karaoke album. So let's do that now. Show my karaoke photos of Eddie. Oh, that is the master at work. Hitting all, I love this hat. Uh, <laughs> this is it, totally dope. Um, 
Great stuff. Well, I could really look at these just all day, but you know, actually my assistant has given me a re reminder based on traffic conditions that it's time to leave. So I'm gonna wrap up this demo of intelligence on iOS 9.